if you were to solve this question, how would you do it? Would you just simply do this? 27 is 3 raised to power 3. And then because the powers are the same, then you equate the, the basis. Would this just be your answer? Let's find out all the rules that will satisfy this equation. So first, we are going to move 27 to the left-hand side. That will have this is equal to 0. Let's write 27 as 3 raised to power 3. We'll have this. From one of the algebraic identities, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, this is equal to a minus b in bracket, and then a squared plus ab plus b squared. So we're going to apply this algebraic identity on this, okay? So this would be x, this x here from the a, minus what? 3 in bracket, and then see this a squared, that's x squared, Plus, this is AB, so that's 3 times X, which is 3X, plus B squared, which is 3 squared, is equal to what? 0. So that's X minus 3 in bracket, in bracket, and then X squared plus 3X plus 3 squared is 9, is equal to 0. So from this equation, it means that X minus 3 is equal to 0, or X squared plus 3X plus 9 is equal to 0. So that's x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3 is one of the solutions. Okay, then what about this one? So first of all, I want us to even test the type of root that this one has, whether it is real, imaginary, or equal root. So from the discriminant, I'm using this symbol for discriminant, is equal to what? b squared minus 4ac. All right, b squared minus 4ac. Now, a is the coefficient of the leading term, 1. A, I mean, b is the coefficient of the middle term, which is 3. And c is the constant term. So if this is equal to 0, that's equal root. If it is greater than 0, that's real root. If it is less than 0, that's imaginary root. So let's test that out now. Now, what is b? b is 3, so that's 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1. Then c is 9, so times 9. So this is 9 minus, what's 4 times 9? That's 36. And 9 minus 36 is what? Minus 27. Now, because it is less than 0, this is an imagine. this one will have imaginary root. All right, we'll still have to get it though. Let's use the formula method to get it. I'm going to do it here. To get the other two roots, let's put 2, 3, which is the other two roots, is equal to what? minus b plus or minus the square root of now i can put b square minus 4ac or just put that discriminant value let me just write it here you can write b squared minus 4ac so all divided by what 2a good so this is equal to what minus b what's b now b is what 3 so that's minus 3 plus or minus the discriminant we got the other time was minus 27 so let's plug it in here all divided by what 2a is what 1 so that's 2 times, which is also 2. Okay, so this would be what? This 2 is dividing both times, so minus 3 over 2 plus or minus the square root of. Now I can split minus 27 to 9 times 3 times what? Minus 1. Okay, so then of course over 2. Now this is minus 3 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3, so times root 3. Now, what about root minus 1? It is imaginary. So, let's use i. i is used to represent the complex number. So, the square root of minus 1 is i. So, all divided by what? By 2. Okay. Let me just say 3i, square root of 3 over all over 2. Okay. So, this is the other two roots. So, in conclusion, I'll say x1, which is this one here, is equal to 3. x2 is equal to what? minus 3 over 2 plus 3i root 3 over 2. Then the last one, x3, the third root, will be what? You know, this is plus, so we are going to go with minus. So minus 3i root 3 over 2. If you enjoyed this video, I'd like you to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.